Fine. I'd like to call the meet. Uh, yes, I'd like to call the town board meeting of November 28, 2023, to order. Please rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence to remember those who served our country in the past and for those who continue to protect our country today. Thank you. Please no, don't, don't sit back. Look behind you. Your chair's your your chair chair tipped over. Oh. oh my God, you scared me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good catch. Okay. Um, please note the emergency exit doors are the door you came in, the doors at the end of the hall, and the doors behind us. Uh, I'll go over the resolutions. Um, the first two are our town board meeting minutes. Uh, resolution number three is our budget revisions. Resolution number four is our laser fish. Uh, it's moving to a cloud-based system and we're going to have to make the change over. Uh, so that's what that one is. The uh, resolution number five is we're just correcting a past resolution that had to do with the salt shed because um, there was a gap in the coverage um, date of the contract. Resolution number seven, um, we had done a resolution prior to do the um, in lieu of taxes agreement with South Green, uh, Greenhaven Solar and uh, we've entered a pilot agreement that will give us uh, $630.92 a year, which will escalate um, at 2.5% each year for a term of 15 years. Uh, number seven is approve the acquisition of a new highway mower. Number eight is the uh, resolution increasing the town hall generator capital project authorization. Uh, we had gone out to bid for that. The lowest bid came back at 125, so we're going to look to save um, some of the cost and lower it by doing some of the work um, in-house. The problem with these projects are we are subject to um, prevailing wages, and it makes every project incredibly costly. Uh, number nine, we're approving the fees for the dog park for the year 2024. Uh, number 10 is the setting the salary and wage scale for seasonal recreation staff for the summer of 2024. Uh, resolution number 11 is we're approving the pay app and certification for payment for the highway garage roof project. And number 12, we are accepting a performance cash bond agreement for Furnier Contract Storage Yard. Um, there's been a change of owners from the original applicant, and we needed to update the bond for the new owner. We are, number 13 is finalizing the funding for the Gardner Hollow Road uh, Bridge Capital Project. Number 14 is revising the Town Hall Accessibility and Improvements Capital Project. And number 15 is our payment of claims. Werner, if you'd like to start. Whereas town clerk, oops, that's the second one. <coughs> Whereas town clerk will remain up. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> what so happened? sorry. Can't open a meeting. <laughs> I did open the meeting. It's public comment time. Oh. <laughs> on agenda items. On agenda items. I apologize. Come on up, Bill. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, I'm sorry. We saved you. You saved us. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bill Crane, <clears throat> 254 Gardner Hollow Road. Um, I know this is at the final moment of the, this uh, agreement on the solar panels, the solar community. The, um, the background of this is that they're coming in to install the solar panels at this farm, and they, they're cutting down 300, uh, nearly 300 trees, mature trees. And it's, uh, it's going to ruin a, uh, a real old uh, historic farm, the 18th century farm. It's, um, 
and it's the, the the way it's been presented. I went to all the planning board meetings and the zoning board of appeal meetings, and it's been presented as they they were going to cut trees next door. Instead, they got made errors, and they uh, they they said they were going to top trees when they're, they're not topping them; they're cutting them down. And so, all a lot of the things had to be corrected. And they said it's in an appropriate place. It's not in an, in an appropriate place. That would be more of a meadow or a flatland without all this vegetation. The trees will probably help fight global warming through the absorption of carbon dioxide more than these panels will. Um, and now we see there's an agreement that we're going to charge six hundred and some dollars um, instead of taxes. That's uh, we would we wouldn't have gotten taxes. It's agricultural, so it it was it was a wash. It, it, it's it, a wash. It really was a no-win situation. Was was part of the problem. But so it, we could we could get something from the pilot program. So we took it. I mean, six hundred dollars, like you said, is nothing. I think it's sad to see trees go. I'm with you on that. I'm not a fan of solar panels in the um, landscape. Um, scenery. I, I'm not personally, but I'm one person. Um, that's my personal opinion. I don't influence, you know. I understand. The so we couldn't get any taxes. Uh, no. Because this is nothing compared to. I know. No. I know. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Is, is the woman who's leasing it? Is she still going to pay taxes? Part of it is going to be taxed, and part of it is not going to be taxed. So we're getting the pilot money for the part that's not going to be taxed. Because not the I, from what I understand, the entire property is not going to be solar farms. That's right. Yeah, a portion. So a portion will pay taxes. A portion will not. I'm with you on that. Part. I know. It just seems. <laughs> seems like this. I don't know. I don't. I, I, all I can think of is a swear word right now. Yeah. Uh, but it, we, the, we're getting pushed around. Uh, well, we learned that up on the hill with all the trees they cut down when we tried to stop it at yeah. that point. You know, it says supervisor, but yeah. it doesn't come with an awful lot of power, that title. What can I tell yep. you? Okay, Werner. Whereas, Town Clerk, Marina Patantuano, has provided copies of the minutes of the November 8th, 2023 Town Board meeting to all members of the Beekman Town Board. <clears throat> and whereas, Town Board members have had the opportunity to review said minutes, now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the November 8th, 2023 Town Board meeting. I'll second. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lemack? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas Town Clerk Laureen Apatotuono has provided copies of the minutes of the November 9th, 2023 Special Town Board meeting to all members of the Beekman Town Board, whereas Town Board members have had the opportunity to review said minutes, now therefore be resolved that the Town Board hereby accepts the minutes of the November 9th, 2023 Town Board meeting. No second. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. <coughs> Resolution passes. Whereas the Town of Beekman's accounting office recommends certain budget revisions based on department requests and or the accounting office review and analysis of expenditures or revenues, now therefore be it resolved that the following itemized revisions are approved by the Town of Beekman Town Board identified as budget revision number 2023-11 as follows. I'll second. Town Board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman mm -hmm. Lemek? Aye. Councilwoman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Cabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. <clears throat> Whereas the New York State LGR MIF Shared Services Grant was awarded to the town of Dover, Amenia, Beekman, and Northeast in 2015 to accommodate servicing uh, multiple municipalities and to purchase an ECMS public portal to provide the public greater access to municipal information. And whereas the grant was for the upgrade to the Laser Fitch Rio ECMS that included a public portal. And whereas the grant also included the outsourcing of the scanning of records to be stored in the public portal for each municipality on the, uh, 
on a several locations in the town of Dover server room to store the public portal uh, Reposit was that repository? Repos repository. Whereas the towns have received proposal from ICC Community Development Solutions for transition from the shared ECMS to, inv to individual Laserfish cloud licensing, which allows each town exclusivity exclusivity of the future and previous scan documents. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Beekman hereby authorizes the town supervisor to execute an agreement with ICC. Community Development Solutions to migrate data from Dover to Beekman and to rebuild in a cloud environment at an amount not to exceed $11,020. And be it further resolved that a copy of this agreement shall be kept on file in the office of the town clerk of the town of Beekman. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Lemack? Aye. Councilman <coughs> Mormon? Aye. Supervisor Benji? <coughs> Aye. The resolution passes. Whereas Dutchess County and the town of Beekman entered into agreement to share construction and uses of a sand slash salt storage and distribution facility, the salt <coughs> shed, commencing a 15 year term on August 26, 1992, which agreement was extended for an additional 15 year term and which agreement was extended for an additional six month period from September 1st, 2022 to March 31st, 2023. And whereas the county and the town mutually recognize the need for the continued joint operation of the existing salt shed, and whereas the dates of the previous addendum left a gap in the contract coverage, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Beekman hereby authorizes the supervisor to extend the agreement with the county of Dutchess for a period of 12 months, commencing on April 1st, 2023, and ending on March 31st, 2024. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. <clears throat> Passes. Whereas South Greenhaven Solar One LLC has proposed a 3.2 megawatt solar project <clears throat> to be located at 97 South Greenhaven Road, the project, in the town of Beekman, the town, and whereas the town sought a payment in lieu of taxes, pilot agreement for the project under real property tax law number section 487 and whereas the town and south greenhaven solar one llc have negotiated a pilot agreement that both parties are satisfied with and whereas the pilot agreement is for a term of 15 years per real property tax law section 487 and whereas the pilot agreement contemplates at payment in year one of 6392 and then escalates at 2.5% each year thereafter. And whereas the payment shall be made in accordance with the terms and conditions the, in the pilot agreement. Now therefore be it resolved by the town board of the town of Beekman as follows. The town board finds the proposed pilot agreement between the town and South Greenhaven Solar One LLC acceptable as negotiated. <coughs> The town hereby accepts the proposed pilot agreement and authorizes the supervisor to execute the same. The town board hereby authorizes the town attorney to take any and all necessary action to finalize and effectuate said pilot agreement with South Greenhaven Solar One LLC. Four, this resolution is effective immediately. I'll second. Town board discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Stiegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Lima? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay, re resolution seven approve acquisition of a new highway mower. Whereas the highway department is in need of a new mower and requests approval for acquisition before year end 2023, whereas the two wheel drive mower is available from Trias Incorporated, a New York State source well at a cost of $80,829.30. And whereas the highway and finance departments are in agreement that the remaining 2023 New York State chips funds of $59,454 and $21,375.30 appropriations to equipment account DA 5130-0200 transfer from, from account DA 9110-0800. Retirement will be used to acquire the mower. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board hereby approves the acquisition of the new mower for eighty thousand eight hundred twenty-nine dollars and thirty cents through New York State Source Well in twenty twenty-three, with the funding agree agreed upon above. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none. Roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Bellini? Aye. Councilman Limek? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town board of the town of Beekman established the capital project for an emergency standby generator for town hall for $50,000 with funding from a MIG grant awarded from Dutchess County. And whereas the town engineer has submitted a new cost estimate of 85000 for the capital project, now therefore be it resolved that the town board approves the new capital project for the town hall generator project to be $85,000 funded by the Dutchess County MIG grant of 50000 and 35000 transferred from the general fund. I'll second. Town board discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Badalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Gavucci? Aye. Resolution passed. Whereas the Recreation Department, along with the Town Board, set fees for the recreation programs, and whereas the Town Board is serious in setting the fees for the dog park for the year 2024, now therefore be it resolved that the fees for 2024 will be as follows. Members and residents, $50. Non-residents, $125. I'll second. Town Board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Bobucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town board is authorized to set salaries and wages, now therefore be it resolved that the following salaries be set for the seasonal recreation staff for the year 2024 as follows. Seasonal recreation staff, range of $15 to $25, $21 per hour. I'll second. Town board discussion? It's a nice night to talk about the summer, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, roll call vote. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Badalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gavucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the town of Beekman is party to a contract with New Vista Designs General Contractors LLC, the contractor, for the project known as roof replacement for the highway garage building number one and number two. And whereas the contractor has submitted an application and certification for payment request number one, dated November 21st, 2023, requesting payment in the amount of $186,280, less 5% retainage of $9,314, for a total of $176,966. See attached. <coughs> and whereas the contractor has requested full or partial payment of the items on the continuation sheet that is attached to the payment request application covering the period of October 31st, 2023 through November 12th, 2023. Whereas the architect has reviewed the request and agrees with the quantity, the quality of work, uh, sorry, quantity of work, completed per the continuation sheet of application number one, and has noted the, that during demolition of the roof, it was found that the existing sheathing needed to be replaced and an additional 52 sheets of plywood were needed and charged toward the contingency. And be it, and be it recommended, and he recommended, the town board make payment as requested. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board hereby authorizes the supervisor of the town of Beekman to make payment to the New Vista Designs General Contractors LLC as requested in the application and certification for payment number one in the amount not to exceed $176,966. I'll second that. Town board discussion. <laughs> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Ballini? Aye. Councilman Limek? Aye. Councilman Mormon? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay. Whereas Shane Fernia filed an application for a site plan and special use permit for a contractor storage yard with the Town of Beekman Planning Board for a certain parcel in the Town of Beekman designated as tax parcel ID 132200-6858-00-002921 and titled Fernia Court Contractor Storage. And whereas on February 20th, 20, 2020, the Town of Beekman Planning Board issued a resolution granting site plan and special use permit approval for the Fernia Court 
contract the storage yard, which proposes construction of a 4,000 square foot building on the subject parcel to be used as a contract of storage, along with ancillary improvements, including 13 off-street parking spaces, on-site wastewater treatment system, retaining wall, landscaping, and lighting in accordance with sections of 155-59 and 155-60 of the Town of Beekman Zoning Ordinance. And whereas Town Law Section 277 requires a developer of a proposed site plan special use permit to guarantee the construction, installation, and dedication of the improvements required by the resolution of approval prior to issuance of any building permits. And whereas a town engineer, Hudson Land Design, calculated the amount of the guarantee for construction of the improvements to be $35,849, and whereas by deed dated by April 20th, 2023, Osorio Property Holdings, LLC, owner, acquired title to the premises from Shane Furnia, and whereas the owner and prior owner, Shane Furnia, executed a performance cash bond agreement, which requires it to complete the, the required public improvements for the subject property, and whereas the owner has tendered to the town of Beekman a cash bond in the amount of $35,849, securing the obligations to construct the improvements as set forth in the performance agreement. And whereas the town attorney to the town has reviewed, examined, and approved the aforementioned performance agreement and cash bond agreement and has issued his approval. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. One, Town Board here, hereby accepts the performance agreement executed by Osorio Property Holdings LLC by Marvin Osorio as member with an address of 2729 Route 55, Oak Lake, New York, 12570, to guarantee the construction and dedication of the public improvements shown on the Fernia Court Contract to Storage Yard Site Plan and Special Use Permit, as required by the Town of Beekman Planning Board Resolution of Approval dated February 20th, 2020. Two, the Town Board hereby accepts the performance cash bond agreement effective November 13, 2023, signed by original applicant Shane Fernia and new owner Osorio Property Holdings LLC in favor of the Town of Beekman in the sum of $35,849 as security for the performance agreement to construct the public improvements pursuant to Town Law Section 277 and authorizes the Town Supervisor to sign the agreement on behalf of the Town. Three, the town clerk is hereby directed to file the cash bond agreement in her files with a copy of the planning department upon signing of the agreement by the supervisor. I'll second. Town board discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler. Aye. Councilman <coughs> Bellini. Aye. Councilman Lemack. Aye. Councilman Warman. Aye. Supervisor Cabucci. Aye. Resolution passes. Whereas the Town Board of, this, of the Town of Beekman previously revised the funding source for the Gardner Hollow Bridge Capital Project to $954,493 in resolution number 101023-4, whereas the Town has finalized the funding sources for the capital budget. Now therefore be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Beekman hereby approves the final Gardner Hollow Bridge Capital Project authorized funding sources to be as follows. County grant one hundred thousand, transfer in from the general fund two thousand four hundred and forty three dollars, transfer in from the highway fund seventy thousand and fifty dollars, ARPA funds from general fund eight hundred thousand for the total of nine hundred and seventy two thousand four hundred and ninety three dollars. I'll second. Town board discussion. Okay, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. <clears throat> Where's the town board of the town of Beekman in resolution number 52323-4 revise the town hall accessibility and improvement capital project for $1,215,713? Dollars, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, whereas the town has reviewed the final capital project cost and funding sources uh, and deems it appropriate to revise the authorization, now therefore be resolved that the authorization and funding sources for the town hall accessibility and improvement capital project to be $1,235,763, detailed as follows County grant 200000 30 Surety funds. Surety funds. When um, the prior contractor um, 
failed on his obligations. And then the, the bond company, the surety funds, came in. And because they brought in another contractor that was going to charge $215,713 more than the prior, the bond company had to absorb that additional cost. Nice. And that's where that was. Okay. So the surety funds, $215,713. Uh, Transfer in from general funds, $820,050. I'll second. Town board discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. I'm sorry. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Benalini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Norman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. <laughs> Whereas the bookkeeper has audited approved claims pursuant to section 119 of town law set forth in the attached abstract, be it resolved that payment therefore is hereby authorized as follows. Claims to be paid from the A general fund, $591,986.10. Claims to be paid from the DA highway fund, $82,778.62. Claims to be paid from the SS Dover Ridge Sewer District, $3,963.61. Claims to be paid from the SW Dover Ridge Water District, $3,826.13. Claims to be paid from the T-Trusted Agency Fund, $11,289.89. Claims to be paid from the H Capital Fund, $569.50, for a total of $694,413.85. Payroll number 23-11-9-2023, General Fund, $35,278.12. Highway Fund, $22,264.52, for a total of $57,542.64. Payroll number 24, 11 2023 General Fund, $34,356.28. Highway Fund, $19,350.93. For a total of $53,707.21. I'll second that. Town Board discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Councilman Siegler? Aye. Councilman Battellini? Aye. Councilman Lee Mack? Aye. Councilman Warman? Aye. Supervisor Gabucci? Aye. Resolution passes. Okay, I have, um, I had gotten from uh, Congressman Lawler. Um, they proudly present Veterans of the Year. Um, he will be having a ceremony for Veterans of the Year, honoring veterans from across the 17th Congressional District for their incredible contributions to our community. Um, if you'd like additional information, you may call 845-201-2060 or visit NY veteran of the year all one word dot com to nominate someone for special recognition today on our website um, we have a spot where you can actually just click on the form to submit because it's, it's submitted online so you can just click on the form and submit um, someone a, a choice for um, to be honored as a veteran of the year and then um, oh, just one final reminder, we were still collecting, I believe, till December 1st, isn't it, the coat drive? I think so, yeah. yeah. at the Recreation Department, so it's still time to bring in some coats, especially the cold weather is now hit. It might, you know, some people may be close, cleaning out their closets um, for veterans' families, men's, women's, and children's coats. And then, um, anybody else? I just have one yeah, thing. I have something. Oh, okay. So... On uh, Saturday, let's see, December 17th, 9 a.m., the Beekman Fire Department will be conducting their annual Santa Run. The, oh. Can we go get it? And the routes are posted on the Beekman Santa Run website if you'd like to see the times that they'll be at your location. A few things to remember traffic flow and emergency calls will disrupt the plans. We'll make noise along the route, listen for holiday music and sirens. There'll be candy canes and some other goodies. Both the members of ALP have voluntarily given up their entire day to try and bring smiles to all faces in our community. Feel free to take pictures and post them as we make our way around. Uh, it lets others see where we are and where we're headed. You can message us for updates on here, and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you. Don't forget Thank the cookies with Santa on Sunday, oh, December 3rd. December 3rd. Did you want At to bring 10. Ten. Okay, uh, th that's next Sunday. This no, coming this Sunday. Sunday. This coming, yeah, this coming yeah. Sunday. Uh, cookies with Santa at uh, the firehouse Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. And the rec department is having um, our, our lighting up the park at the rec park, and uh, Santa will be visiting in uh, Friday evening and uh, on Sunday. 
Uh, again, at the rec department, the co community center, they're having a, a craft fair. So please go on the, the recreation site for further information on that. Anybody else? Just one thing. I just wanted to say that the, um, the 2023 school tax collection um, was great. Everything's done. Everything's balanced out. Closeout is done. School has their money. Town has their money. And it balanced out to the penny. So just wanted to let everybody know that it went well. Great. Thank you. Thank you to you and Amy for doing a great job. You're very welcome. Bill, did you? <clears throat> Bill Crane, the, um, until about three years ago, when you drove down, if you're going from here down Route 55 toward Beekman Road, it was very pretty. It was a scenic um, <coughs> route and uh, because of the, the big trees that were on the side of the road. And then the power company took them down because they were interfering with the wires. And I, I would, uh, I wonder if you could please try to find some way of, of replanting trees along that, along that road. I know there may be some, there's a lot of stumps there. But right now it's pretty ugly. You look, all you see is lots, uh, car lots, and you can actually look in see somebody's, the cars inside somebody's garage. It's just like it's, um, we, we could really, really make uh, the town more beautiful. You have experts uh, on the planning board. You have Frank, you have others, uh, Rob LePain and Pete uh, Poultrack and others. And a lot of people know a lot about trees and I think um, maybe the conservation committee would be helpful in uh, funding sources of, uh, sources of funding, so I, I urge you to look into that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, with that, I make a motion to close the meeting. A second. Um, the next meeting, I just want to... Thank you for the second. Oh, the second. I supposed to? The, the, no, you were. But it was me. I forgot. The next meeting's oh, Tuesday, December 12th at 7 p.m. <laughs> it was my fault. It's a rough okay, night for all of us. Yeah. All right. All right. All in favor? All right. Uh, okay. Safe travels home. It was my fault. I remember I hadn't mentioned the meeting.